It's been another record-setting day for COVID-19 in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Minnesota reported nearly 2,200 new cases with 15 deaths. Wisconsin has more than 5,200 new cases and 64 deaths. That's a positivity rate of nearly 26 percent. This week, there are five free COVID-19 testing sites across Minnesota. And Red Wing today, there was a steady flow of people. No insurance is required. You don't need to have symptoms. The state is offering free tests to monitor increased community spread of the virus. The road to recovery from the pandemic has been financially devastating in most places. But downtown St. Paul seems to be an exception. While downtown Minneapolis has seen a significant hit to business, new data suggests the impact in St. Paul may not be so severe. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how the city appears to be holding its own. Life as we know it has changed, but it seems in the state's second largest city, the changes have been a bit less crippling. Yeah, it was, we were surprised. Joe Sparts heads up BOMA, the local building owners and managers association. He says this new data threw them off amidst a financially devastating pandemic. Occupancy is up in St. Paul more than a percentage point. Joe says before COVID, the downtown was thriving in St. Paul. Residency was up 112% over the past decade, and they had three huge new projects in the works. So what we're seeing play out here in these numbers is a reflection of that. And and the reality is, in the long term, we still don't know the business community, whether it's St. Paul, whether it's Minnesota, across the U.S., we still don't know what the long term impact is going to be. But for now, things are looking up thanks to new tenants like this familiar face, retired gopher and Super Bowl champion Ben Utech. You know, I almost feel like I owe it to, to, this, to this great state to, who gave me so much to try to do whatever I can to, you know, to do the same thing back. Ben is an investor in a large project downtown. It will have a ninja gym, chiropractor services, and other things to serve the underserved, a business risk he's willing to take in a city he's willing to gamble on. If we can do this successfully, I think we can be a beacon of hope uh, that other people can, can follow and other leaders can bring more business into, into these two great cities. In St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Ben Utex Health Center is scheduled to open in March.